Hey everyone, welcome to part two of the Back to Basics series we've been doing on Revit Family Content Creation. So in this example here, we're going to really take a look at the Humble Tag Family and how to utilize that better with Revit. So let's get going. So I've just returned to the level one plan here and essentially here I've got a beam, I've got a footing and a slab. So of course, if we want to tag this, we know that we can do this quite easily. We can just place the tags on the elements. However, if I select this beam here and I now do edit type, you'll notice in here that we've got 400 by 800. If I change the depth maybe to 700, notice the type name is still 400 by 800. And of course, you can see the problem. I've now edited this beam. It's now a different size, but the tag is still reading the type name. Let's take a look at this footing. So if I do edit type here, you'll notice here that we've got a foundation thickness of 750. If I amend this and make this 500 and perhaps we'll change these to 1000 and 1000, notice here that the object changes of course, but the tag updates and changes. So what's the difference? Well, if we take a look at this tag here and we edit the family, we'll select the label and select edit label off the ribbon you'll note here that Revit is reading the type name. Okay, so let's now take a look at my new family. So if we come along and select this tag here and edit family, we'll select the label once again and edit label. And here you can see that I've concatenated several parameters which actually control the family size. So you can see here in this example, I've got length, width, and foundation thickness. And you can see here I've got a suffix of X and just to match the out of the box tag, not that I would do this normally, but you can see I've got a suffix of MM for millimeters. Okay, so obviously that allows us to be a little bit more productive when we're tagging elements. But let's take a look at some more examples. So what I'm gonna do here is put some structural openings through this slab. Now, generally, I don't tend to use the shaft opening or out-of-the-box structural openings with Revit. Um, what I do here is I create my own content. So I'm going to go ahead and place down my family. So perhaps I'll just place down two of these. And you can see here that we've got a symbolic line attached. Obviously, if I don't want those, I can just switch those off. And here, I can just drag these to actually change the size of the opening. Um, or I can fine tune the size here. So perhaps in this example, we'll have 600 by 600 in there. And you can see here that I've got an open in use. So what I'm gonna do here is just type in services in this example. Okay, so I now want to go ahead and tag that and mark it up on the drawing. So once again, you can see that I can just place the tag down and not only does it call up the size, but it also calls up the usage for the structural opening. So let's set the arrow to a free end here. And obviously then I can place that somewhere a little bit more convenient. And there it is. Of course, the nice thing with this is if I had lots of openings around the project, I'd be tempted to use text for these types of things, but it's when things change. Obviously here, if I now need to amend these to uh, 600 by 800, that's really easy to do. And you can see now the tag has updated, or this might not now be a service opening, or we might want to be a little bit more detailed. This might be um, electrical. Yeah. So again, I can just type that in for multiple objects on the project, and of course, all the tags will then update. Now, the final example we'll take a look at is going to be a uh, relation to detailing. So you can see here that I've got simple uh, detail, and you can see I've got some uh, masonry units over here, um, and I've got a wall tie here. But you'll notice here, instead of using text, again, I'm tagging. So if I actually select the uh, wall tie, you can see here I've got wall ties by Ancon type 2. And of course, uh, this tag is reading the comment. So of course, if I want to change this and I want to now say wall ties by others, yeah, I can just type that in. And again, if I did that for all of the objects in the project, all my tags, which would have traditionally been text, will update. So of course, it's quicker and a lot more accurate. I've got the same thing going on with this as well, you know, so this is masonry by others, but again, I could change that. So in this case, it might be uh, Ibstock uh, bricks, you know, and so on. Okay, so I hope you found that useful and I hope you can implement that within your next project or on your next Revit template. Okay, thanks for listening.